Hey guys, it's Quackalax here, and today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. Today I'm actually going to be showcasing an indie title from an indie developer. And the game that I'm going to be doing is Treehouse Valley. So this is a 2D platforming game, which was... The demo was actually released yesterday, and it's kind of a prototype of a demo in a sense. So basically, you can find this at the sandboxyoyogames.com website and you'll see that in the web link at the top of the page right here. If you go to that, you can just download the game and it's as simple as that really. You don't need any external mods or anything to make sure it works and you can just get straight into it. If you have a spare moment, it's definitely worth giving a try because it goes for kind of the old look at games. You know how they were always hard and you used to rip your hair out at the difficulty? Well this is one of those games so if you like a really easy challenge this isn't really your type of game but if you like that feeling of accomplishment when you manage to finally finish it then this is definitely for you. I've played this game for about an hour to an hour and a half and initially I found it extremely difficult I'm not gonna lie. Uh, I almost rage quit multiple times, but I stuck out with it, and there's only five levels in the demo, but I've heard that there's quite, quite a lot more in the full game, which is to be hoped, since you don't just want two hours of gameplay. But yeah, basically you can move left and right, you can jump, and one of the main mechanics of this game is using the vortex spin, which allows Teddy, which is the main character here, to spin around in a circle. And what does spinning around in a circle do? Well, it gives you invulnerability against enemy attacks. It allows you to, like, freeze in midair, which makes it easier for you to get onto platforms that keep rising and lowering themselves in the water, which is really helpful as well. And it also lets you reel in the bones in, on the levels, which is one of the main parts of this game. Because you have a time limit, and up to yet in the demo they've all been 100 seconds, and you probably think, 100 seconds, you can do that easy. But it definitely puts the pressure on you. And there's a number of bones in the level, more than I'd like to admit, to be honest. And every time you die, from whatever reason, all the bones come back. So, you're going to be ripping your hair out as much as I was, I think. I went absolutely crazy every time I pressed the wrong button or it seemed like the hitbox was a little bit off sometimes. And damn, <laughs> I was ripping my hair out. And I, I wanted to turn it off, but the thing is, I couldn't. I had this drive that just made me want to keep going back to it. And that's why I think that this game has great potential because while it might turn off certain audiences due to the difficulty, others that like that old school way of play are really going to enjoy this, I think. Even though the graphics aren't as good as they could have been, I still think that it's really worth a try. So here's a link to the game again, and check out Mike Delaney's profile and give him a few reviews on the game because he'd really appreciate it. And it's gonna it's done by his company, his self made company, Mazicom, and he plans on making Trias Valley two, three, and all sorts of other stuff in the future. So definitely keep a lookout for this guy and he'd appreciate all the support that you can give him and I think he deserves it. This game could be really good. So I'll just give a quick summary of everything that I thought. While it is full of bugs, yes. It is gut-wrenchingly hard sometimes, yes, but it has this drive that keeps you coming back despite all of its faults and that's what really makes these indie titles worth picking up and taking a bit of your time out. So anyway guys, thank you for watching, please give this game a check and I will see you guys next time.